Let's face it, Gardevoir is OP and it's going to ruin the game. Hi, I must be just some random internet comment. I'm just joking around. We don't know how OP it is, but we're going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to show you some footage from one of the beta tests of Gardevoir. I'm Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. And to the people who think it's stupid that I say yeehaw, what am I supposed to say? Get along, little doggy? It's either I say yeehaw or ride him cowboy or something like that. Otherwise, I go to jail. They arrest me. They take me away from my family. So let's take a look at some of this Gardevoir footage. This footage comes from Pinoy Engineer on YouTube. I will link his channel and this video in the description. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play this version of the beta, so I didn't get any Gardevoir footage, but there will be footage of Gardevoir on this channel. I'm saying I keep saying Gardevoir and my brain's going, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> There will be footage of it on this channel. I will make a guide for it. We'll have a ton of gameplay of it. So let's take a look. It's a psychic Pokemon. Right now, he has unlocked the ability Psychic and Psy Shock. So these are... One of these is the upgraded ability, right? Or both. Psychic and Psy Shock, I think, are the upgraded abilities. He started with Confusion and Teleport. Yeah. So these are both upgraded abilities. You can see a ton of area damage from Psy Shock, and Psychic just looks like a big blast of Psychic Energy doing a lot of damage that also seems to have an area effect where it lands. So two big area moves. And then this Pokemon's Unite move is also a giant area blast. It looks like it actually can be a little tough to hit with. I've noticed in this video, he misses the Unite move a few times. So it could be tough to hit, but once it does, it seems like it might have a bit of a gravitational pull to it. I guess the thought is, what Pokemon is this similar to, and how is this going to fit into the meta? Well, I could easily see this Pokemon, you know, being a replacement for someone like a Pikachu or a Cramorant on a team. I'm not seeing anything inside here that makes me think it's absolutely overpowered. I have heard that one of its other abilities has an insanely short cooldown to the point where if you hit with it, its cooldown is almost brought back up immediately, similar to how people feel with Hex on Gengar. I think that ability is Moonbeam? Okay, I took a look at it. It's Moon Blast and Future Sight. Those are the other options for Gardevoir. So I think Moon Blast resets its cooldown very, very quickly when you hit with it. It could be one of those moves where if someone's coming at you, it's just blast, 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 blast. The faster and faster uh, they're getting towards you or you're getting towards them. It'll be interesting to see how this Pokemon settles into the meta, but it seems to be pretty dang powerful. I mean, it feels very similar to having the crowd control of a, a Cramorant to me. It might have higher single target damage. One thing that's really nice is Cramorant loses one of my favorite moves, Whirlpool, and it gets Surf, which is awesome. But Gardevoir's upgraded ability kind of has that Whirlpool effect to it. You've got that little area attack that lands with the move. So... I will be really interested to see how this Pokemon plays. One thing I think to notice with any of this is oftentimes when something is released in uh, a, a game like this, a MOBA, it goes one of two ways. I think Gardevoir will be relatively balanced with the rest of the game because this Pokemon's been being made for a long time. Same with Blastoise who comes out. I think he will be relatively balanced. but. With a lot of MOBAs, there's a question as to whether or not characters come out super imbalanced or characters come out kind of underwhelming. I, it's hard to really fine tune between the two, I've noticed. So I come from uh, League of Legends, Smite, Heroes of the Storm, and all of them have different issues. You'll notice in ranked play, when a new character comes out, they're instantly banned because it's unclear uh, sorry, not ranked play. Tournament play, I meant. Like, the big-time tournaments. The newest characters are often banned right away because there just isn't enough time to know if the characters kind of break the game and if the entire tournament... Oh, you can see the Unite move right there got popped and uh, it just it missed everybody. Um, it you There's not enough time to know if that Pokemon, in this sense, would be a little too overpowered. I think... Oftentimes, I've noticed games lean towards the units are too overpowered when they first come out. Again, I don't know if you're going to have that issue with Gardevoir because it's been being tested for a long time. But oftentimes, they want to release 
a new unit and they want it to be cool and exciting and people see it in a match and go, whoa, I've got to buy this new unit, basically. I'm not sure how much behind the scenes conversations are like, hey, let's release it. It'll be a little OP and then we'll nerf it. And as long as it's a little OP, more people will want to pick it up. It's just something that happens a lot in MOBAs like this. So something to think about. I'll skip ahead a little later in the video. We can see the Unite move actually land kind of near the end. Where is it at here? So we can see this Unite move land on Cinderace, and I think it feels like it had a bit of a field of pull there. I don't know if it increases damage for the rest of your abilities. We'll have to see once all the details come out, which will be very, very soon. Thank you to everyone who watches, likes, comments, subscribes, even the people who think it's stupid that I say yeehaw. But what am I supposed to do? I will go to prison. All right, more footage coming soon. Bye.